Top 10 Best Places to Visit in Italy Tourists and travel experts have long agreed that Italy is a special place. So much so that the country has become a genuine bucket list destination for just about everyone. Famous for its incredible food, rich historical sites, highly regarded art, charming small towns and picturesque cities, countrysides and coastlines, it's safe to say Italy's offerings are unmatched. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll talk about the best places to visit in Italy. Be sure to like and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. So, let's get going. Number 10. Naples The third largest city in Italy is chock full of history, art, architecture and delicious food. Yet, it gets a bad rap for its crime and grime. While these blemishes are certainly a reality for residents, they're far from ubiquitous, especially where tourism is concerned. Choose to literally find higher ground at places like Certosa Monsieur di San Martino and you'll be rewarded with truly spectacular views. For a nice seaside promenade, look no further than the Via Caracciola Lunga Mer di Napoli. Flanked by cafes and restaurants on one side and the Gulf of Naples on the other, this walkway serves as a relaxing place to stretch your legs and breathe in the fresh sea air. The views of nearby Mount Vesuvius and the island of Capri add an almost magical element to this pedestrian walkway. Although recent visitors say a walk on Via Carasola Lunga Mer di Napoli is a definite must-do, they recommend steering clear during the weekends when it gets extremely crowded. Number 9. Sicily As the location of several ancient Greek legends, Sicily has an almost mythical quality. Once you visit for yourself, you'll see why so many writers were inspired by this island which happens to be the largest in the Mediterranean. Be enchanted by Sicily's crystal-clear waters and golden beaches. Marvel at Mount Etna, the highest active volcano in Europe. Or try hiking up it in summer or skiing down it in winter. Also, save time for taking in the many cultures that have called this island home at its various cathedrals and archaeological sites. Picture a tropical island. Gentle waves spilling onto the sandy shores, sunshine gleaming off a sparkling sea and volcanoes spurting steam in the distance. Add to that image lush, rolling hills topped by ruins from antiquity like those at the Valley of the Kings near Luxor, Egypt. And then, you need to imagine the rich tastes of fresh seafood, decadent pastas and desserts. Number 8. Lake Como if you really want to treat yourself on your next vacation, Lake Como is where you want to be. Here, opulent villas and hotels line the shores and sandy beaches beckon to sunseekers. You'll see sleek sailboats and speedboats coasting in the middle of the lake, which is the perfect place to admire the region's surrounding hills. Meanwhile, for a lesson in luxury, tour one of the region's grand villas. Top picks among travelers include Villa Melzi de Errol, Villa Carlota, and Villa Balbianello. Later, check out the Como Cathedral, a magnificent structure boasting Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architectural styles. Whether you visit Lake Como for a day or stay longer, board a boat, relax, and enjoy the view of the lake from a unique perspective. Take a power bank with you, because you will take so many photos. Number 7. Capri For centuries, this small island off the coast of southern Italy has attracted plenty of famous faces. From emperors to movie stars due to its gorgeous scenery. Some of Capri's most amazing sights are best seen by boat, including the Ferraglioni rock formations and the Blue Grotto, where sunlight turns the water into an unbelievably vivid shade of blue. On land, the gardens of Augustus and Villa Jovis, an imperial palace, also provide spectacular views. The terraced, multi-level gardens overlook some of the island's best attractions, such as the Ferraglioni and Marina Piccola. Plus, guests can look down upon the architectural feat that is Via Krupp, 
which is a path carved into the steep mountainside that contains dozens of switchbacks. Meanwhile, in the town center, visitors will find high-end shops and restaurants where they can relax after a long day of sightseeing. Number 6. Tuscany Italy's famous countryside offers travelers spectacular landscapes dotted with romantic villas and castles equipped with wineries and superb restaurants. Don't miss out on a visit to the walled city of San Gimignano, a UNESCO World Heritage Site famous for its medieval towers. What's more, Tuscan locales like Pisa, which offers much more than its leaning tower, and Siena are an easy drive from top destinations such as Bologna and Sicchi Terre, perfect for day trippers who don't want to stay in one place for too long. As for museums, visitors find the Muacele di Santa Maria della Scala and the Museo Archeologico are each worth a few hours of their time. And when it comes to churches, recent travelers recommend visiting several. The Siena Cathedral for its beauty, the Cathedral of the Assunta for the surrounding landscape, and the Abbazia de Monte Olivido Maggiore for its wine cellar. Number 5. Cinque Terre Cinque Terre, located on Italy's northern Ligurian coast, is made up of five colorful seaside towns. Manarola, the region's oldest town, boasts scenic vineyards, olive groves, and a centuries-old bell tower. Meanwhile, Vernazza, often considered one of Italy's most beautiful villages, is well known for its picture-perfect houses and grand medieval castle. The Cinque Terre offers an abundance of exciting activities, from boat tours and hiking to cooking classes and wine tastings. While here, don't forget to save time by exploring the cliffside footpath Monteresso Trail, a beautiful hiking path connecting Vernazza and Monterosso. Visitors to the Parco Nacional Cinque Terre raved about their trips to the five towns that make up the Parco Nacional Cinque Terre. Reviewers love the atmosphere, the views, the food, and the people, but also caution that the towns are packed with tourists. Many planned a day trip from Milan or Florence and recommended travelers short on time do the same. Number 4. Florence Situated in the scenic Tuscan Valley, Florence woos travelers with old-world avenues leading to picturesque piazzas big and small. While you're soaking up the city's splendor, make sure to stop by the Piazza del Duomo, where the breathtaking Santa Maria del Fiore Cathedral is located, and the romantic Ponte Vecchio, a 14th-century bridge overlooking the Arno River. Once central to the Renaissance movement, Florence also offers art aficionados the opportunity to see famous pieces by Michelangelo and other iconic artists of that period. As an added bonus, Florence is ideal for a day trip to the Chianti wine region. You can also watch the sunset from one of the outdoor cafes lining the square. Also, there are two flower gardens that come to life with thousands of varieties of roses and irises in the spring months. If you want to avoid the crowds, plan to come early in the morning or at night. Piazzale Michelangelo is free to access 24-7. Number 3. Amalfi Coast The journey to the cliffside Amalfi Coast involves heart-stopping, hairpin turns on narrow roads, but travelers agree that this is part of the fun. The region covers more than 30 miles of coastline and is home to 13 colorful seaside towns, each with its own story. Positano and Amalfi are the most popular, housing numerous hotels and sites. While here, hike, relax on the beach, and eat to your heart's content. There are multiple Michelin-starred restaurants along the Amalfi Coast. For something more off the beaten path, set your sights on Atrani. This humble fishing village boasts medieval whitewashed architecture, winding alleys, and authentic Italian charm. Positano boasts some of the Amalfi Coast's most beloved beaches. Marina Grande Beach is the most famous and most central, sitting at the base of the colorful seaside town. 
There's also the Fornillo Beach, another traveler favorite, located less than a half a mile east of Marina Granada Beach. Fornillo Beach can be accessed directly from Marina Grande via the cliffside Santiero Delgi in a Marathi pathway, an attraction in its own right. For a truly secluded shoreline, check out Arienzo Beach, which is situated between two cliffs and is accessible via 300-step stairway. Number 2. Venice there are few destinations in the world that are quite like Venice. Its uniqueness can largely be attributed to the canals that run through this northern Italian city like roads, carrying water taxis and buses in addition to its fleet of famous gondolas. As such, there is a palpable bustle here that may surprise some first-timers. For a relaxing Venice vacation, seek out the smaller streets and canals away from the busy Grand Canal and St. Mark's Square. Just be sure to stroll across Rialto Bridge and tour the Grand St. Mark's Basilica at least once. Considered to be the main street of Venice, the two-mile-long Grand Canal is one of the city's most popular and highly photographed attractions. Recent travelers recommend hiring a gondolier for a romantic row along the canal. Whichever mode of transportation you choose, travelers agree that the Grand Canal is a magnificent attraction and must be experienced during your trip. Number 1. Rome A standard stop on many European vacation itineraries, Rome is not to be missed. Italy's capital city is a globally renowned cultural and historical powerhouse, boasting everything from ancient ruins and tranquil parks to Michelin-starred restaurants. Here, you'll find the most important relic from the Roman Empire, the Colosseum, some of Michelangelo's greatest works in the Sistine Chapel, and 18th-century Baroque-style fountain, the Trevi Fountain, and, of course, the center of Catholicism, Vatican City. Other can't-miss tourist attractions in the Eternal City include the Pantheon, the Roman Forum, and St. Peter's Basilica, the world's largest church. The epicenter of Roman Catholicism, St. Peter's Basilica, is centered in Vatican City and open daily for free. Many visitors enjoy tracking to the top of the dome. No ticket is required to see the Pope on Sundays when he usually addresses the crowd in St. Peter's Square at noon. Well, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any travel updates.